Hey guys, Roxy Sims here and I have another speed build for you today. Today I'm doing a special kind of speed build. It is a dollhouse challenge speed build. And if you haven't watched it already, um, recently I did a medieval apothecary dollhouse challenge build. And whenever I shared it, uh, the overwhelming response was, oh, you need to do like an entire castle. So... I think that's kind of what I'm going to do. I'm going to do, this is the great hall of the castle. I think I'm going to do the bedrooms, the kitchen, maybe a dungeon, maybe like a knight's room, you know, knight's the round table kind of room. Um, yeah, I, I think I'm going to, I'm going to do that. And then at the end, I can put them all, stack them all up and have just like a whole castle dollhouse. And yeah, that's, uh, you could thank lots of people from Facebook in the Sims groups um, over on Facebook for that idea. And I, I think that's a great idea. I think it'd be really fun too. And I'm having the absolute best time with this dollhouse challenge. I don't know what it is about it, but it is so much fun. And I explained this in my last dollhouse challenge video, but if you, you know, haven't uh, heard what the dollhouse challenge really is about. So you're not actually making a house for a doll. It's basically you're you're building something in a way that it's open on two sides so that you can see into the build like you would a dollhouse. And then it's all about the screenshot at the end. You do a little editing and there you go. There's the dollhouse challenge. The original creator of the dollhouse challenge is Smart Milk and you can go check them out on their Tumblr. So yeah guys, this is the great hall of the castle and I'm going to decorate it in a way as if there is a feast going on at this moment. So I go all out decorating the tables. Honestly, the tables are my favorite part. My, like they're the best parts to decorate and to look at. I just sit and look at them. <laughs> but I haven't really got a, like a chance to do these super full tables before so that was really fun and I had my sim cook some food that I thought you would find at an actual medieval feast. So right here what you see um, that I'm doing is I'm sizing down the um, fire pits and I'm putting them in those lights in those they those have fire in them already but I had to size them down because they'd be too too big to put on the aisles there. So when you size them down, if you light them, then there's fire way up at the top where, like, if you didn't size it down, that's where the fire would be. Yeah, the fire doesn't change. So I just turned them off and instead put the fire pits in them, had my sim light the fire pits and, and raise those up to be the fire instead of having those things on. But anyways, back to the food that's going to be on the table. I... I love some of the new food that we've gotten recently, and it's actually perfect for this build in particular, like the grand meals. So I make the turkey grand meal, I make the ham grand meal, the fish grand meal, and also the winter cake. So we got this winter cake in an update recently, and it's gorgeous. I love this cake. Whoever designed the, the cake in the Sims team, seriously, that cake is beautiful. It looks like it has like rosemary and maybe some cranberries or something on it. It's gorgeous and I think it looks so medieval so I'm really excited about the food that goes on these tables. And I have a little bread that you can find in the um, debug section. Love the debug section. So if you don't know how to do the debug section all you got to do is put on the cheat bb.showhiddenobjects. You put that in and there's tons of little decorations that um really like really great clutter decorations i highly suggest it oh and i also had my sim do a crown roast oh it looks so cute i love it <laughs> well anyways guys we're pretty much at the end i want to thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe and i hope to talk to you all again soon bye everybody